skin warriors and facial pain warriors and chronic pain warriors out there. I decided today to do a video, usually when I'm talking about my trigeminal pain and my brain surgeries, etc. I always have a full face of makeup on and I know it doesn't really reflect when someone's having a really bad pain day. And so if you look at those and you look at me and you think, well, she doesn't seem to be suffering. Today, I'm having a really bad pain day. Right now, my pain is about eight, but I've done a lot of things to bring it from a 12 to an eight, okay? Um, I have had four brain surgeries in the past uh, six years maybe seven that's a lot in any time but anyway four brain surgeries for trigeminal neuralgia trigeminal neuralgia is a neuropathic pain condition that comes from the trigeminal nerve on both sides of your face tri meaning one two three and it's based right about here in the base of your brain and it creates the most stabbing, excruciating pain known to mankind. And it's funny when you hear people talk about it that you have never met from all corners of the world, they all say the same thing. It feels like somebody's taking a hot ice pick and stabbing it into your ear. Now, none of us have ever had, I hope, have never had an ice pick stabbed into our ear, but it's interesting how that pain is described that way. So if you want to hear more about trigeminal neuralgia, I will put my um, my playlist down in the link below so you can follow my procedures and surgeries that I have had. But today I want to show you what I do to help relieve some of the pain. Some days it's hopeless. It truly is. You're just going to curl up in a ball and nothing helps. But for me to get my pain from a 10 to an 8, which is still hurting a lot, I'll show you what I do. I have it on both sides. I have trigeminal 1, which if I'm not mistaken, is where they can find compressions on the nerve and they can go in and do surgery. So I have the first uh, bout was TN1 on the left side. They found a compression, went in, did a craniotomy, brain surgery, big scar back here. I'll insert pictures. And they put Teflon between the nerve and the um, impeding vein or artery that was uh, uh, adding pressure to the nerve calling compressing. So that's why that's called an MVD, a microvascular decompression surgery. So I have that on this side. And I have to say it did work for probably a couple of years, maybe. And then, and I had reduced my pain down, my medications down. And then all of a sudden, I got this stabbing, horrible pain on my right side. And there is no pain like this, so you know that's what it is. And sure enough, they did an MRI, and it was the same thing on the right side. When they went in to do the surgery, unfortunately, the vein or artery, because I can't remember, was adhered to the nerve. So they couldn't apply um, pressure of pushing the Teflon pads in between the two because it was like adhered. So they didn't want to damage the vein or artery for obvious reasons. You'd start bleeding and, you know, would not be good. So uh, this side has been pure Horrible, awful hell. So a few years later, they did um, gamma ray uh, uh, surgery, gamma knife radio surgery. Sorry, I'm really foggy today. Probably shouldn't have done this video, but I wanted to do it just so maybe it could help somebody else having a crappy day today. <laughs> okay, gamma knife radio surgery on this side, which is a lot of radiation focusing on the nerve to try to damage that nerve. 
The third one was 2020. I had it during COVID. No one could come in the hospital with me. That was kind of scary, but you suck it up, you know. It goes through the face, down into that nerve. They inflate a balloon. The balloon, again, adds pressure on the nerve, and then they pull the balloon out, and hopefully that's damaged the nerve enough for it to stop um, giving pain. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, four brain surgeries. <laughs> and it causes numbness in your face and you don't want it to get to where it causes um, horrible numbness, anesthetic Dolorosa, I think anesthesia dolorosa is the, is the name of the condition and it's pain with numbness and it, it would be horrible. I have some of that, but it settles. I'll get it and it settles. Today, my face is numb all the way here. I can pinch it as hard as I you know, like there's nothing and it feels like dental pain and a little bit into my lip. So anyway, let's get started with the things that I do to try to relieve my pain. Number one is heat. I think just about anybody I know that has trigeminal pain or facial pain goes to heat, heat, heat. And I have numerous devices. If you're staying somewhere where nobody has a hot compress or hot water bottle and it's just like not accessible, ask someone for a sock and put rice in it. Rice gives really moist, beautiful heat. It feels fantastic. Tie it in a knot, stick it in the microwave for one and a half, two minutes, and it kind of molds like this, and it feels fantastic. I've also gone to the emergency for trigeminal neuralgia flares, and if the nurse is really savvy and knows what you have, you can ask her, she will get a, a surgical glove and fill it with really hot water and wrap it in a towel and you can use that while you wait to go in the back. So that's a really helpful hint that I found worked really well for me. The next um, method of heat I have is all kinds of, this is another rice bag I made, I don't know how many of these for a craft fair and sold them and this one is so beat up i've used it so much so i should make another one literally rectangle sewed with rice that has pretty much crumbled it's like it's, i've used this so so much and it's good for back pain any kind of pain it's just as comforting warm oh and when i have both sides that go at the same time because that's been happening lately i'll get rid of the heat the race on both sides and then just do it like try and balance it out and then I've got it on both sides so that's really helpful speaking of both sides this tip this comes with uh, compresses inside like these so they're hot or cold compress but I use them for heat and they sit in there's one in each for me, one minute in the microwave is plenty. I always make sure the label is on the outside and this little loop for the chin. And for both side, sided pain, it's fantastic. So you can put this on here, put it on here, tighten it up. You don't have to hold anything and you don't have to lie down and you can go about your business. I had this on this morning because I wanted to knit and read, of which I did neither, because I couldn't. Sorry, the ring light is in my glasses. Uh, the other one, very similar to this, but again, homemade, because if budgeting is a problem for you, you can't afford all these fancy things. I take a headband, like this one, and I just Put it on, take my glasses off, put it on, pull it up. And I'm not saying you're gonna look beautiful, but who cares, we're not, it's not about that. It's about pain relief. Pull it up over your head and whatever side it is, for me it's this right side today, you make a little square out of rice. You can see this is historic paper, this is flannel. 
and it's got rice in it or I'm not sure I think I bought this actually I don't think it is rice it's, it comes with a, a liner inside but you can just make your own out of uh, rice and just sew the whole thing up fill it with a, about a cup of rice heat it up obviously not as hot as the other one and stick it in here And it does the same thing as this one. You could actually make two of these and put one in each side. But your headband would have to be pretty loose to be able to get two in. But this works if you're just having one-sided pain. And again, you can carry on about your day. It doesn't last as long as either one of these because you can't heat it for as long. But it really, really, really helps. And the last heat thing, I got this from um, Getting On My Nerves 5K. They have a channel here on YouTube and also on Instagram, and they're phenomenal advocates for trigeminal neuralgia pain. So I got a shy velvet. I live in Canada. It's freezing cold. We just came out of a week of... Um, minus 30 temperatures and the temperature has changed and which is a trigger for me for my pain when the temperature makes a big change i always get pain always okay so this one is one of these kind of a baklava kind of thing so you can wear it like this just even if, if you're having no pain, you can wear it like this and just keep your, always kind of keeping your face really warm when it is cold outside. Or like this. Or like this. This is fantastic if you want to go for a walk or do anything tied up. But the best part, you get these hand warmers. We got ours at Canadian Tire. And you take them out of here. I don't want to activate it. And you shake it up. And it gets so hot. I am not kidding you. At first it starts getting warm. Then it gets hotter and hotter. It lasts forever. If I go to my grandson's hockey games and I'm having a lot of pain, just obviously it's out of this plastic bag. And you just tuck it in by your wherever it's hurting. And, you know, you don't even have to tie this up. And, oh, it's so relieving. It feels so good. Even sometimes during the day, I will just wear this because it feels so good and so, so comfortable and soothing because it's warm. Now, obviously these heat devices are not enough to knock out or reduce a really bad flare. So I go to my meds and meds. And the first thing I do, I have, I need my glasses. The pain clinic gave me this cream. It's gabapentin, ketamine, and lidocaine all in one mix together. It has to be mixed in one of those pharmacies. It's a triplicate prescription, much as uh, all controlled substances because of the ketamine that's in there. There's only 10% ketamine, but ketamine is used during anesthetic to put people out and then lidocaine freezes you so it's it, i think in combination with heat and this this helps somewhat it, it, it's not a end dollar be all okay so try that Here in Canada, cannabis is legal. So for a stabbing, stabbing attack, you know where the pain is just, oh, oh. This stops the stabbing immediately, which is why, the only reason why I would ever use a vape pen. 
it, it, it's instant. I don't understand. It's like it goes to your brain, you inhale it, goes to your brain, and the pain stops. The underlying, the stabbing stops. The underlying pain is still there, still as severe, but that stabbing, stabbing, where you just want to just scream, stops. Um, this one is got a lot of CBD, but apparently they don't make these just CBD. So I had to get a little bit of THC in here too, but it doesn't matter. You, you don't, at that point, you know what, who cares? This phenomenal to stop a stabbing attack. Problem is it doesn't last that long. I up my, my regular daily, I take carbamazepine, which is an anti-seizure drug, because remember, this is pain coming from the brain like a seizure. So I take carbamazepine on a daily basis, three times a day. But for breakthrough pain, I'll take, the ones I take three times a day is slow release, so it's in your system all the time. For breakthrough pain, I just take 200 more milligrams of carbamazepine and this, the doctor even said, he said, you can chew this if you want. I, I have the chewable ones. I was allergic to whatever the coating was on them. I have these in half tablets and they look like this. Almost look like an aspirin. And you can chew them up and swallow them with water, whatever. Then there's the big guns, which is called Dilaudid here. And um, I, you know, I feel so bad for people that suffer from severe chronic pain, severe trigeminal pain, horrendous cancer pain, and they have so much trouble getting controlled substance substances. This is what they're made for, for people in severe pain. You are not chewing and swallowing these all day long. I mean, my... Uh, the pain clinic explained it to me so well. They said, um, these kind of drugs, and I'm not promoting opioids or anything. I'm just saying, the pain clinic told me these kind of drugs, you get de the difference between dependency and addicted. Dependency is, you just, not just, you get dependent on taking these medications, your central nervous system just depends on it to come in. Addicted is when you have a drug like that and you misuse it. And so one tablet works, so you take four. And then you start doing illegal things to be able to obtain it because the prescription only says you can only have so much. It's very, very, very well controlled. But to have someone suffer and not treat them like they are addicted, like every single person using these medications are addicted, is wrong. You have that person who is suffering, and then they have to withdraw unnecessarily because the pharmacy and the doctor can't get it together. That's never happened to me, but I have heard that happening to people here on YouTube. And I, too cute for cancer, it happened to her. I think the other lady, her name's Carrie, and her channel is called, oh, I can't remember. I'll put it down. But anyway, this happened to them, and I just feel so bad for them because it's not fair. And at the end of the day, if all of your pain is gone, all of your cancer is gone, all your trigeminal pain is cured, if the only thing you have to do is wean off your dependency on this medication. Like, wouldn't you want that? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, so this is for really bad breakthrough pain. And then sometimes these medications in their combination or by themselves often just give me a plain headache, a headache. So I just take two Tylenol. I don't necessarily need a heavy narcotic to get rid of a headache or some kind of other pain that, so you just kind of learn to know, I've been suffering this for, with this for over 12 years. You learn to know what type of pain it is 
and what your particular body needs. I am also sound sensitive. Now in my brain, I think, I believe, and I think I'm correct, the trigeminal nerve and the cochlear nerve, the hearing nerve, are in close proximity because it, there are certain sounds that will trigger a trigeminal attack for me. Just one sound and it's like, Phew! and I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like that is ridiculous. So I got these loop earplugs. It says, live life at your volume. Redu reduce the noise, enjoy life. And mine, oh, my package, I keep them on my keychain here so I know where they are. And I just pop them out and stick them in my ears. And I swear to you guys, this has practically saved our marriage. Can you see them there? Little gold loops. Because I can be so awful and such a B-I-T-C-H when the sound, when my pain is so bad and the sounds are so bad, I am trying to cope to survive. And somebody is making some noise that seems very, very innocent. But to me, it is excruciating. So when I put these loops in, oh, does it ever help? I often think of mothers who have trigeminal neuralgia or parents of young children. And they're screeching, mommy, mommy. You know, all of those noises, especially at supper time, these are well worth every single dime. It's called Loops. And uh, it comes with a whole bunch of different um, ear kind of plugs because you know how some people can't fit it in their ear. And you guys, I'm going to hold this. It's Loop earplugs.com slash start. I'm going to hold this up to the camera and I'll try and be really still and maybe you can use this code. But if you can't, go to loopearplugs.com slash start. Unbelievable. I wish I'd had these all my life, because I've always been uh, sensitive to sounds and people, the way they eat and scraping their plates and all that kind of stuff. It's always triggered me. So these, I have to say, are one of the best things ever made. Anyway, so what else have I got here? Oh, another thing that I have just found lately. I love music. Played piano, sing. I have always love music. I just discovered a few days ago, I was having this pain, trigeminal pain, and I, I was uh, trying to upload a video. So I put on some music in my Apple Music, and it was Whitney Houston, and she was singing a ballad. And the sound of the music, I have these Power Locus headsets. They're very comfortable. Can you see how cushy they are? And they're not uncomfortable to wear when your face is hurting. You know how you don't want anything on your face? And you put on the most beautiful music to you and it triggers something in the endorphins in your brain and it just washes over you. It is you have to try it. If you don't have these, try just any kind of earplugs that are going to tune out the sound everywhere else. I love it. Again, wish I was using this before because once your pain meds kick in, it's important that you kind of have a relaxing, calm day and you take care of yourself that day. Drink lots of water. I always take one a day vitamin all the time try to wash your face and brush your teeth that was so hard for me this morning i just couldn't touch my face so i had to wait an hour or two before i could even wash my face and then get the toothbrush in your mouth and get a small child's toothbrush 
if your regular size is hurting, just get a really soft child's toothbrush and just brush your teeth. And even if it's not effectively brushing your teeth, at least you feel freshened up, you know? And I put lip gloss on. I love this e.l.f. one. It has a little bit of a tint. I don't know if you can just get it plain, but for me, this one has a little tint and it's got mint in it. So it's got this feeling of, like you just get this feeling of mint and soothing. You know how mint is. And it feels good on your face. You're trying to do everything you can to get through. So I really, really wanted to share with you my tips on how I get through the struggle of trigeminal neuralgia flares. Because I went to see my neurosurgeon uh, a couple of months ago, and we both decided that no more surgery. I could have that balloon rhizotomy on this side. I had it, what side did I have it on? Oh, I could have it on the left side because the left side has started to reawaken. Trigeminal neuralgia does not have a cure. It's The goal is to try to reduce the pain for shorter amounts of time, longer spans. And that's what happened from my first successful surgery, the MVD, but it doesn't last forever. So this side is starting to reawaken as it were, like the giant is waking up. At the same time, this one has never really gone to sleep. So when I have pain on both sides of my face at the same time, it's horrible. It's horrible. And you know, this disease is called the suicide disease. And there's many, I can see how that can be if you don't have support and you can't afford your medications. And if you can't afford free medical care, free brain surgeries. Imagine if I lived in the United States, how much it would cost for me to have had those surgeries. We'd have to mortgage our house, move. I, I mean, brain surgery is not cheap. So I count my blessings all the time. I'm so grateful I live where I live and that I have the care. I have a fantastic neurosurgeon neurologist, general practitioner. I'm really, really lucky and I don't ever take that for granted. So I hope some of these things can help you. I meditate. Those are also non-medical things that I do. I meditate. I journal when I can and I try really hard to do positive self-talk because it's so easy to do ne negative self-talk and one thing I found myself saying this morning I always kind of, this is kind of my quote that I say over and over again is doom spiro sparrow which is latin for while I breathe I hope and I also try as much as I can. Wake up, get up, dress up, show up, and never, ever, ever give up. So today I managed to wake up and get up. Now I'm not so sure if I, I didn't dress up, although I love this Vera Bradley cozy, cozy, cozy house coat. And it's a hoodie. So it's kind of cute. So maybe I did dress up a bit anyway, with my flannel nighty. But uh, you do what you can do on any given day. So I'm going to sign off here because I've been talking a lot. Talking triggers it. And this side was not hurting and it's starting to. So I need to shut my big old pie hole and I hope some of these things help you out. And if you have any questions about anything, 
regarding trigeminal neuralgia, please leave them in the comment section below. And thanks so much for watching and feel better and stay safe out there. Bye.